Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, I just got done on the construction. <laughs> Cut that, that's, that's lame. What do you need to be prepared for a construction or home improvement project? Whether you're about to start on a commercial construction project or you're just a hobbyist doing a home improvement project, these are the steps you need to take when planning and executing your project. First, project planning. Second, materials that you're gonna use. Third, the tools and equipment you're gonna use. And finally, safety. So let's dive a little deeper on how you're gonna plan for your project. You need to set up project goals and objectives, to scope the size and plan the budget of the project, find the right site and do an analysis of that site, decide on the timeline of your project and what your team and the roles of each of those team members are gonna be. Or else you're gonna need to consider the legal and regulatory requirements of your project. Next, you need to think about sustainability. Finally, you're gonna need a plan for risk management and communication. Now let's talk about how you're gonna decide what materials you should use in your construction or home improvement project. The materials you choose for any project will depend on a variety of factors. For residential projects, common materials include wood, brick, concrete, and steel. For commercial construction, projects often use steel, concrete, glass, and aluminum. For infrastructure projects, such as roads, bridges, and dams, you'll need something sturdy such as concrete, steel, and asphalt. Maybe you're working on a sustainable construction project. Here you may use environmentally friendly materials such as bamboo, recycled steel, and recycled plastic. For industrial construction projects, you might need materials that can withstand harsh conditions, such as steel and concrete, and maybe even fiberglass and composite materials. Finally, let's talk about renovation projects. You'll be using a mix of new and existing materials. For interior, you may be using wood, drywall, and concrete, while in exteriors, you may be using shingles and metal panels. Next, we're gonna talk about what tools and equipment you may need to invest in to start on your construction project. You'll need hand tools and power tools, heavy equipment, scaffolding, surveying equipment, concrete equipment, ladders, material handling equipment, and finally, measuring tools. Just as important as the tools you're gonna to use is the safety equipment you're gonna use. Here are some examples of personal protective equipment that you may use in construction projects. Hard hats, safety glasses, respirators, gloves, steel toe boots, high visibility clothing, ear protection, fall protection, chemical resistant clothing, and finally sun protection. Being a respirator company, here's our recommendation on the respirators you may need to use in your construction project. If you're working on an outside project, you may wanna try one of our tinted mirrored respirators. These help provide UV protection and protect your eyes from the sun, as well as reduce glare so that you can actually see the project that you're working on. If you're working inside, you may wanna use one of our respirators with a light amber lens. This helps increase visual acuity and increases contrast between objects. And of course, if you're just looking for a half-face respirator, then we recommend our T60 or T61 half-face respirator. Now you know a little bit more about starting a construction project. If you found these tips helpful, go ahead and subscribe to the Parcel Safety YouTube channel below.